Hello everybody, uh, today I'm going to make this video to show you guys the testing of the new bicycle wheel wind turbine and uh, I have made a few changes since uh, the last video and I'll go ahead and show you what I've done to uh, tweak it up a little bit. Okay, uh, the first change that I did, I added a, a block of wood here to uh, kind of make it a little more stable. I originally only had three screws up on the top here just uh, drilled straight in and it, it may have held together a little bit but not strong by any means so I just added this piece here added uh, two more screws there and uh, two more screws there and as you can probably tell I went ahead and added my uh, floor flange and my uh, galvanized PVC and uh, let me show you the, the tail real quick Okay, here's the tail. I uh, made it big for two reasons. I figured since the front end is, uh, you know, the blade span is so wide that it's, um, it's going to need a bigger tail, so I just went ahead and uh, put this together. And the second reason why I made the tail this big is to counteract the, the weight of the front. Um, there's a lot of weight in the front, so, um, so I just went ahead and put this tail on. And this design of the tail, I absolutely hate it. Um, I can barely even stand looking at it, but uh, I spent, I don't know, a few hours on it, and it looked different to be to begin with, and kept been making changes to it. And I ended up with this thing, I don't even know what it looks like, a spaceship or something, I don't know. Anyway, so, I'm going to keep it on there for now, but once I go ahead and, uh, you know, get this up and running, I will definitely uh, be changing the, the design of the tail. Just don't like it at all, but it, it's on there and it's it's good for the test anyway. So, okay, let me show you the, uh, the blades. Okay, as you can tell, these are just plain old plywood, and I have not done any work to them yet, as in you know rounding them off and uh, sanding you know sanding the back or anything. But I wanted to test this first with just plain blades that you just cut out. And then in a future video, I will be, uh, you know, they'll be stained and everything, and I will have sanded them and rounded them off and all that good stuff. And I can hopefully see, uh, you know, a difference in power or, you know, difference in startup or anything like that. So, um, and you can probably still tell I still have the zip strips on here. Uh, it's fine for testing, I'm, I'm pretty sure, because even on my other uh, wind turbines, with the bottles and stuff. That's all I use are zip strips. They're really easy to work with. Not permanent by any means, but good for testing. And what I probably will end up doing is just using like a heavy gauge wire and uh, attaching them that way. But for now, zip strips are cool. Okay, and I just want to show you guys the, the V-belt here and the pulley. There is a a little bit of play on it and I really don't have a lot of experience with you know uh, pulleys and stuff and you know ratios but this is a, a good start it's it's a little loose uh, but not, I don't think too loose and uh, not too tight either so hopefully it'll be a, a good test here and um, I will uh, show you the the test coming up and then I'll do a, a quick review as I always do or always try to do anyway of how I'll perform and what I, how I think I can improve it. So, okay. Okay. Well, I now have my uh, helmet on because I've got this thing to go over 20 twice just uh, standing here in front of the driveway. So, um, it wasn't that windy earlier, but it certainly is now. So, I don't think I'm going to test it in the truck today, but uh, I'm just going to test it here in the driveway and get some. Uh, some uh, readings for you. 18, 18, 19 there, below 20. And you can probably tell, well, maybe not. I am holding on to this with uh, one hand and trying to hold the camera with the other. The tail's kind of good, but I just don't think it's uh, even remotely safe to test this thing today in the back of the truck. Earlier it would have been fine, but now the wind's just too. Uh, Unpredictable. Uh, 13, 16, 16, 17, 18. It's starting to 
wobble a little bit. I'm not sure what's up with that. to get anything over 20. Uh, let me show you this little tiny motor. This motor is literally uh, oof, the one hit get hit by the blade. Probably not even a testing it on, hanging on to it with one hand, and this, I don't even think is a six feet, you know, uh, total, so it's not even that high off the ground. It started at a very low speed. Uh, it felt like the wind was maybe, and I'm just guessing, maybe six, seven miles an hour, nothing crazy or anything, and to get over uh, 20 volts just on the meter, you know, with no load, just straight up to the meter. And this motor seriously is this tiny little motor out of a treadmill and it was so small I didn't think I'd ever be able to do anything with it. Um, so that's a good indication on how, how well this, this ratio works and these blades that haven't even been modified yet. Um, you know, I haven't done anything with them except just cut them out and put them on there. Um, and uh, I'm actually shocked that it actually works so well. Um, so what I will do in the future is I'll definitely uh, uh, be uh, staining everything, uh, you know, rounding off the edges, uh, making a, an edge on the other side, and uh, probably tightening up the belt just a little bit. It feels like it was just a little loose. I can actually just kind of see it wobbling a little bit, and uh, probably secure the, the blades down uh, more than the zip strips, you know, probably use the, the wire. I said I was going to do. And um, 
just for cosmetics, I'll probably end up changing the tail just because I, I really hate even looking at it. But uh, but it is, it is functional, it works just fine. I just don't like how it looks for me anyway. And uh, I would like to say uh, or give a couple shout outs one to uh, Ian once again uh, for this wheel. And actually, he gave me a whole bike. I actually have a bunch of different ideas for uh, you know the other wheel and some other parts. I, I think I. Uh, can make something cool out of it. So thanks, for, thanks Ian for the, the free bike. And uh, I also like to thank uh, Muddy Mud Man or Muddy Muddy Mud Man, uh, real good guy to subscribe to. And I'll actually put a link to his um, his uh, YouTube page at the end of this video. Um, he's a a guy who actually uh, I asked him a, a couple questions about pulleys. And he told me that some people were using bicycle wheels, and that's kind of why I uh, started snooping around and actually found, you know, a picture of this. And Jesus, this works great. I'm still shocked um, how well it works. So, and also, and I will not ever probably forget again to use the Loctite tape on this uh, flange and this galvanized steel because uh, you know once it falls apart and heads to the earth it's just a it's a, it's a shame it's a mess um, the other one still has a, a couple issues I haven't worked out yet so um, I definitely uh, will be using that and uh, probably clean it up you know, clean up the wires and stuff so okay um, in the next video for this I will be uh, definitely showing you the, the the smoother model the more uh, you know, cleaned up version so okay as always thank you for watching Take care and God bless.